Good morning, beautiful students. How are we today? I want to believe we are okay. And we are saved by the grace of God. We'll, we'll be having basic technology this morning on the topic belt and chain drive. I still remain your basic technology teacher, Mr. Albert Awolibi. I come again, we'll be having uh, basic technology this morning on the topic belt and chain drive. Belt and chain drive. Before we go deep into what we have today, but before we begin to talk about belt and chain drive, let us quickly look at the areas we need to cover in course of this class today. That is what we call the learning objectives. Come again, learning objectives. At the end of this lesson, you students should be able to define belt and chain drive, identify the types of belt and chain drive, state examples of machines using belt and chain drive, and also state the applications of belt drive. We will go to the business proper, that is what we have as content. What is belt drive? It is a mechanical energy transmission system of transmitting power from one point to the other on dry surface or by the use of belt. What do we mean? Just like in your house, you have the generator set, you put your generator outside your house, then you start the generator, you plug the, the cord or the cable to it. That generator is where the power is built, but the power is being transmitted. As the generator is on, the power that is in the generator is carried also to your house or to your room. Then you cannot switch on your appliances and begin to enjoy your TV, your radio, your, your whatever you have in your house. So that is the meaning of transmission. In belt drive, there are things called pulley that are made use of. The belt is rolled on them. The point where the power is built, the power is there. The power needs also to be transmitted or to be taken to another side. That is what we mean by transmission. But it should be on dry surface, not wet or greasy surface. So it is a mechanical energy transmission of transmitted power from one point to the other by the use of belts. We will look at let us look at uh, some machines or devices that make use of belt. Before then, we talk about the types of belt and pulley. We have the flat belt. It is just flat as the name implies. It does not have any groove along it. But the second one you're seeing is the V belt. That is the one at the right hand side. V belt and pulley. The pulley has a groove along it, and so the belt is designed. That's what we call V belt and pulley. Then the second one is the third one, sorry, is a variable or treated belt and pulley. That is the last one by this side. The first is first at the right hand side, that is a V belt and pulley, as you can see on the screen, is a bit different or different from this other two. This is called Tiri pulley, uh, Tiri pulley belt drive system. It has three pulleys, then one belt is thrown on them. But this one, you're seeing, they are just two pulleys, two uh, pulley belt drive system. 
that is all uh, here. The third one is the variable, like I said, variable or state belt and pulley. They are used to change the speed between gears without stopping the engine. Then we look at examples of machine, like I told you, that make use of back drive. They include the electric pepper grinder, the farm belt of motor car, sewing machine, castero, power hacksaw, and so many others. We shall be seeing them on the screen here. The top at the left is the castero. Below is the pepper grinder or tomato grinder, uh, as you may call it. But there are many things that come before the meat and you grind. Then under at the left hand side, the down one is the engine of an automobile. It could be machine, could be ve uh, motor, uh, vehicle, could be plant, whatever you call it. Then at the right hand side, you can see at the middle there, the steam machine, which you all must have seen. That is the steam machine. In that steam machine, there is a pedal and there is an engine at the top, round or circular. Then there is a pedal. Why you press your leg on the pedal? There is a connection between the pedal and the engine at the top with the belt. Just like the, that of the, uh, the pepper grinder. If you remove the belt that connects the pulley at the front and the pulley, the rear pulley, if you remove the belt, the engine or the power, if it is built at the front pulley, why you start the engine, the front pulley will be rotating or moving, but the second or the rear one will remain where it is until you fix the belt on them or to them. Then you can start it. The power that is built on the front pulley will be transmitted to the rear one. And so you see that the front pulley will be rolling and the rear one will also be rolling. We look at chain drive. Chain drive is a bit similar to that of belt drive, but this time use of chain. It is a mechanical energy transmission system of transmitting power from one sprocket wheel to another on wet or grease surface. Or it is a mechanical energy transmission system of transmitting power from one sprocket wheel to another by the use of chain. You can see two differences even from the definition. One, this one is by the use of belt, that is back drive. Why chain drive is by the use of chain. And back drive is always on dry surface. And chain drive, we say on grease or wet surface. We also, like we did in case of back drive, look at some machines that make use of chain drive. They include the bicycle, like you can see under here, the motorcycle, the chainsaw. That chainsaw is used to fell wood in the forest or cut them into branches, uh, into sizes or whatever you want to. After cutting it down, it is used to cut wood, that chainsaw. Then the motorcycle, you all know about that. It is popularly called Okada, right? That is what you call Okada. This chain drive system you're seeing, there is a sprocket at the front and a sprocket at the back, or the rear sprocket. The pair that is connected to the front sprocket. Why you pedal or press the pedal? You want to move the bicycle. If you remove the chain, the two will be disconnected. The power in that front sprocket, why you press the pedal, the power is then built on it. That power needs to be transmitted. That power is telling the bicycle to go to the front, but it will not move the rear one until the chain connects the two of them. Otherwise, you begin to press it and press it, the front one will be rolling, while this, the one at the rear will remain where it is. That is 
are not an example. We are saying here to talk about the bicycle, the chainsaw, the motorcycle. We we'll also look at this diagram. This is sprocket and chain connected. The front sprocket and the rear sprocket. So we we'll said chain drive is transmission of and uh, mechanical energy transmission or transmission of mechanical energy from one sprocket way to another. That is the sprocket way at the front and the sprocket way at the rear. They are being connected. The power in one is transmitted to the power in the other one by the use of this chain. We also need to look at the types of chain, just like we've also looked at the types of belt and the pulleys. The first one is the conveyor chain. That is the one you're seeing at the middle. That is how it looks like. This one is very strong. Then we have another one, transmission chain. That is the one you're seeing at the left-hand side. And then we have the lift chain. The lift chain is more arranged than the conveyor and the transmission chain, though it is not as thick as the conveyor chain. So you can see the difference or differences between them. The conveyor chain is mostly used by these heavy machine engines. So you see the way they are arranged. And in thickness, they are also different. These are the types of chain that we have. Then we shall also look at the applications or areas we make use of belt drive. Like I told you, subsequent weeks will continue you all have your scheme of work. We'll be having the or looking at the applications of chain drive and so many other things. Where a few of these areas that will make use of belt drive. Like we've seen in the diagram that I displayed, we use them in that motor car engine. There was belts. Then another one here is the rubber track. This one is found in many excavators, small machines that dig. The ground, we call them mini excavators. They are used in agricultural activities. Then the next last one here is the conveyor belt system. That's the belt that is, is a is just like the conveyor chain that you saw, but it's a conveyor belt system. That's the one that was displayed to you also on that diagram below the sewing machine that you saw before now. Right, uh, before we leave the class, I also want us to have a cap of what we have discussed. Remember I said belt drive is a mechanical energy transmission system of transmitting power from one point to another, or from one pulley to another by the use of belts or on dry surface. Chain drive is also a mechanical energy transmission system of transmitting power from one sprocket wheel to another on wet or grease surface or by the use of chain. We discussed also the types of belt and pulley, talked about the flat belt and pulley, uh, V-belt and pulley, and two-third or variable belt and pulley. We also discussed about the types of chain. We said they are the lift chain, the conveyor chain, and the transmission chain. You have seen them as I display them on the screen. We also look at the examples of machines that make use of belt drive. We talked about the pepper grinder, the sewing machine. We talked about the pepper grinder, sorry, the sewing machine. We talked about the conveyor system. We talked about the castero and so many others. We also talked about some machines that make use of chain drive. We said we have bicycle as example, motorcycle popularly called Okada, the forklift, and so on and so forth. We've also seen some of these machines that make use of back drive and chain drive, not just by talking, we've also seen them on the screen. Uh, we've also discussed areas you make use of belt drive. That is talking about the applications of belt drive. We talked about the car, motor car engine. We talked about the mini excavator or track 
the rubber tracks in a mini excavator in, that is used in agriculture, and so on. For your assignments, kindly visit your portal. I will not drop your assignment here. Do well to check your portal. Then you see the questions that are there. You answer them. Then we we'll mark them and get back to you accordingly. Before I will deliver the next class or topic or next lesson online, I want to pray that we will remain safe by the grace of God. See you. I am still Mr. Albert Awolimi, your busy technology teacher. Thank you very much.